Yeah, hello everybody. This is Mike here again. So I'm doing my continued series of intro to programming using the Microbit by BBC and Microsoft Make Make Code. I think they're the Microbit and uh, Make Code are two awesome resources that you can use to teach young kids how to program uh, with the with the block code, and then as they get older, you can convert that over to JavaScript real easy. So today, I'm gonna to show you one of my other lessons, uh, programming classes, lessons that I, uh, that I have taught and working on a real, a real teach. Today, we're gonna to use the, the buttons on front of the micro bit. You hopefully can see them. Button, a and B, kind of hard to see the see them, but A and B, really easy. Another really easy lesson to teach kids. Eventually, you can do simple games and stuff using the buttons and other other cool things. So <clears throat> let me, uh, as uh, usual, let me share my screen. And jump right into the programming. So there's make code as usual for for these lessons. Click on micro bit. You can use more than micro bit. I just enjoy or like the micro bit so much, and it's really nice price. Uh, version one I think is under twenty dollars. It's kind of hard to get version two right now. Version two's got a lot more cool stuff, mic, microphone, and other other stuff, but uh, they're in very sh short, limited supply, so you can use the microbit one until uh, microbit two comes down in price, becomes more available. I've, <clears throat> I've already created the file. But once again, this is really easy. So, Let me uh, grab the on start. So what I'm going to have it do just display something. I'm going to do some icons, make it really simple. So on start, let's do a uh, smiley face. And you can see over here, and what's cool, you don't actually have to have the micro bit. You can test your code here in the little window on the uh, upper left hand corner. So, <clears throat> we'll do on input, and it's right there on the top on button. So, we basically have three combinations. I'll show you here. Grab input. Grab on button, three different versions of it. You make it really simple. So on A, you do something. On B, you'll do something. And then on, <clears throat> when you press both A and B, you'll do something. So again, we're just so simple, so easy. I think, I think, see, I have a computer programming background, but I think any uh, parent, who spends a little bit of time with the micro bit. You don't have to be a computer science degree or programming degree, whatever. You can just jump in and show your kids how to do programming. And with a with a cheap price point, make codes free. Micro bits under 20 bucks. You can, you know, maybe every week do like a one hour class or programming class using the blocks. And then you can have to get through basically showing all the different stuff in blocks, then you can move on to JavaScript. Give them kind of a head start before they get into uh, high school. So we'll keep it, we'll keep it simple. 
on icon, show icon. Show icon. So now we want to make it a little bit different. So for A, let's see what all the different ones we have. We do a square on B. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell exactly what these things are, but kind of a circle and on AB. Let's do something really cool on AB. What's that, a skull? And again, it's, it's really simple. And then you can kind of go over here and test your code. So on start, you got the smiley face, press A. Got the square, press B. Got the circle. And then because you can't, it's hard, you can't press both buttons on the screen. It's got an extra little button called AB. And you press AB. And you get the skull, the pirate skull. Really simple, really easy. So let's uh, uh, just go over real quick. See on start, smiley face, on press of A, square, on press of B, circle, and on press of both press of A, B at the same time, you get the pirate skull. And then you can check out JavaScript. Oh, so easy. So on input, a button press, A, you call the function, and you basically just spread this, do, call the method, basic show icon, <clears throat> icon name square, just basically a repeat on button, press of A, B, you get the skull, and then on press of button B, you call the function, the base, and, uh, and then basically do the basic Show icon, icons, die. Oh, it's a diamond. And then <clears throat> this is the on start. Basic uh, show icon, icon names is happy. Very simple. So I very quickly programmed a really simple, not a game, but a really simple interaction. A kid can have with a micro bit to show them how cool it is. We get more advanced later on as we work through all these different uh, different types of things you could do with the micro bit. So let's download. I'm already paired, already connected. Let's see if we can get it lined up here. Okay, so we've already kind of showed the coding how to do it. Let's stop sharing so we can see the micro bit better. So there we go. See on start, you got the smiley face. Pressing B, the diamond, I press A. Get the square, and then I carefully press both at the same time. Get the skull, the pirate skull. A, square, B, diamond, both, pirate skull. So simple. So, and hardly any time I was able to quickly program this Microbit to use the button combinations and do a quick display change every time I press one or all, both. And that's all there is to it. And I bet you could easily do this in 45 minutes, maybe an hour, hour less, 45 minutes less, and to pretty young age groups. So again, another great way of just kind of showing off some of the cool things and lessons and lesson plans and classes on programming that I'm doing. Uh, if you have anything you want the micro bit to do, you have questions about the micro bit, got questions on classes and stuff or have suggestions, just please leave a comment in the, uh, 
in this video and I'll try to get back to you or answer your questions. And that's like that's is it. Simple, fast, easy to do. Uh, anybody, I think anybody can do it with any any basic knowledge of uh, microprocessors, you know, Arduinos. I don't even know you'd really have to be much advanced in Arduinos or micro bit to uh, in programming to use block code, um, use a uh, make code. So cool. Once again, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Cool. Bye for now.